In both tennis and life in general, there are challenges. You might come across competitors that use mind tricks or other methods to get advantage over you. But regardless of the offense, you should not let anything interfere with your game or with you. Tennis is a great sport because it gives individuals increasing flexibility, strength, and muscle tone. The subconscious and the endless repetition of situations you have already played in practice or competition serve as the foundation for each movement, technique, and stroke. When under stress, players frequently describe their internal state as being in the zone, which refers to the elevated levels of focus and attention required for peak performance. Hard work, practice, and win, that's pretty much it. You must find a way to win. You need to be the winner against all others in whatever field. Every tennis player wants to hold the title and be number one in the world, but only a few of them actually manage to do so. Some players have dominated men's singles during the previous 20 years. However, a new wave of talent is emerging with youthful athletes climbing the rankings. Stay till the end to know how Rafael Nadal praised Carlos Alcaraz after his US Open win. Welcome to our channel where we provide you with recent news related to tennis players. Before heading on to the video, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of our updates. At the age of just 19, Carlos Alcaraz defeated Kasper Ruud in four sets to win his debut Grand Slam championship, which sent him to the top of the world rankings on Sunday night. Ruud was competing in his second major final, while Alcaraz was competing in his first. Ruud was unable to use his prior experience to his advantage while facing the young hotshot. Alcaraz's triumph made him the first male Grand Slam champion under 30 since Rafael Nadal won the French Open in 2005. After Pete Sampras' triumph in the men's division in 1990, he also made history by being the US Open's youngest finalist. Alcaraz is the first person to achieve it being a teen. Although whoever won the match would have replaced Daniil Medvedev at the top of the world rankings. No other pre-20-year-old has been able to do it in the 49-year history of the ATP rankings. Young Spanish sensation Alcaraz won the opening set 6-4 before dropping the second 6-2. After winning the tiebreak 7-1, he was only one set away from making history, but he rose to the occasion and beat Rude 6-3. At the French Open earlier this year, Rude lost his first Grand Slam final to the more experienced Spaniard, and he was defeated by Nadal's native countryman again. Alcaraz has already been hailed by the major champion as a potential number one and multiple Grand Slam victor, and his prediction is now beginning to become a reality. Nadal narrowly prevailed in the pair's semifinal meeting at the Indian Wells Masters earlier this year. But the following week in Miami, Alcaraz came back to win his first Masters 1000 title and, ironically, he did so by defeating Rude. Ahead of their Indian Wells meeting, Nadal said, I think he is unstoppable in terms of his career. He's a good guy and reminds me of a lot of things like when I was a 17 or 18 year old kid. Carlos is a great guy and he's a potential number one player and multi-grand slam winner without a doubt, no? So it's great that in Spain we have a player like him, Nadal said. The only thing I can do is wish him the best things possible because he will be fantastic for our sport if he's able to achieve amazing things for the sport. Alcaraz became the first male youngster to reach the top of the rankings and the youngest ever ATP world number one with his US Open victory on Sunday night. It was the first time a Grand Slam final also decided a new world number one when he overcame new world number two, Rude, in a thrilling four-set match. As the match ended, Alcaraz stated, this is something which I've dreamt of since I was a kid, being number one in the world and a champion of a Grand Slam. It is something I've worked very hard for. It's really, really special. Champions have made a name for themselves with some exceptional accomplishments in a sport that is known to routinely introduce new faces. Tennis has created a lot of icons over the years. Whether it was the legendary Rod Laver and Margaret Court at the beginning or players like Rafael Nadal or Roger Federer, the sport always had a player redefining the rules and establishing their history with pure brilliance. Rafael Nadal, who is Roger Federer's best buddy outside of the court, is the only person who can match his accomplishments. The Southpaw became a professional in 2001 and catapulted his maiden Grand Slam at the 2005 French Open. Before his first French Open, Nadal was already a popular player. He had just led Spain to a Davis Cup victory as a teenager, and that year, he had a great clay court season, winning 24 straight singles matches. 
In the semifinal, the Spaniard defeated top-seeded Roger Federer by showcasing his strength at the baseline. After Mats Wilander in 1982, Nadal became the second man to beat Roland Garros in his first attempt. Rafael Nadal and Carlos Alcaraz, two outstanding active tennis players, represent Spain. Rafael is a tennis legend in his own right, and young Carlos is already making waves in the sport. Carlos mimicked a few of Rafael Nadal's accomplishments. Alcaraz won the 2022 Rio Open Final and his second ATP Championship by defeating Diego Schwartzman, ranked 14th in the world, in straight sets. The 18-year-old not only set an ATP 500 record with his triumph, but also made history. Alcaraz put on a strong performance in his first clay court match of the year, defeating John Mooner by scores of 2-6, 6-2, and 6-1. For his admirers, seeing young Carlos win the contest was promising. Rafael Nadal seems to be very impressed with Alcaraz, and he has said, well, he's playing very aggressively. He has a lot of potential. He's a young and a good guy, so I mean, he already has a great level of tennis today, but I really believe that he's going to be a fantastic player soon, no? He added, yeah, I wish him all the very best. I mean, like Spanish player and like in Spanish fan, I really believe that we need somebody like him. It's great to have him here. Rafael Nadal, who defeated Rude in his maiden major final at Roland Garros earlier this year, after overwhelming him in a one-sided match, shared his appraisal of Sunday's final. The 36-year-old has recently been severely impacted by injury issues, and he has said that he's unsure when he would be able to return to the court. Despite this, he has persevered and won two Grand Slams this year. Nadal had also been in with the possibility of moving up to the top of the rankings, but both men denied him the opportunity by reaching the final. It was evident that the 22-time Grand Slam champion had no bitter feelings as he was eager to congratulate both players after the match. Congratulations at Carlos Alcaraz for your first Grand Slam and for number one, which is the culmination of your first great season, which I'm sure will be many more, the world number three tweeted. One of the greatest players of all time sent Rude a beautiful statement in which he offered support during a trying period and praised his fellow countrymen for following in his footsteps by winning a Grand Slam and reaching the top of the global rankings. He has also gotten long training at Rafa Nadal Academy. Nadal added, Great effort at Casper Rude 98. Very proud of you. Tough luck today, but amazing tournament and season. Keep going. Do tell us your views in the comments section. If you've reached this far, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and press the notification bell so that you won't miss any future updates. See you in another video, and until then, take care.